It's called the eye shoe. It's got some brains, more brains than your average shoe. Insoles with wires and sensors, batteries and Bluetooth. It was yeah, developed by answer. MIT grad student Erez Lieberman while he was an intern at NASA. It diagnoses poor balance by just tracking how a person's distributing pressure on their feet. Senior citizens often struggle with balance because of problems with muscle tone or nerve endings, bad vision or inner ear issues. The hope is to notice patterns on this computer and give doctors critical information so that a serious fall can be prevented. Something that Dr. Lewis Lipsitz at Hebrew Senior Life in Boston says happens all too often. There are about 300,000 hip fractures a year in the United States and about 25 percent of people die within a year of having a hip fracture. I traded my size 12 loafers for a pair of eye shoe insoles. Should I move around at all or just stand? Yeah, so you can move around. So just lean forward like this? Yeah, you can lean forward and you can see that the weight distribution is increasing. My movement shows up as raw data on this laptop and is translated into this visual screen of dots. I lean over to the left a little bit. Yep. It's measuring that. You can tell there's something going on. Yeah. As I rock back and forth, raise a foot, and balance on my toes, the black and blue dots show I've lost control. Dr. Lipsitz is testing his own smart shoe, doing long-term research on about 800 people. He says while gathering this kind of data is important, finding something to fix the problem, like a vibration device in his shoe, is critical. And to intervene on what we find and um, improve uh, their balance, improve their walking so they're at less risk of falling. If you've ever been dizzy, you know how difficult it can be to stay upright without crashing into something. Well, that very notion is something NASA's been looking into, and what they've been learning about life in space could help people here on Earth keep a solid footing. Astronauts are real-life superhumans. They make walking in space look effortless, but bring them down to Earth, and suddenly they have a vulnerability, balance. A big part of what helps is balance is something called our vestibular system, uh, which is basically an organ system that enables us to detect acceleration. And that's a big part of how we balance because the acceleration of gravity tells me where the ground is. Now, if you leave the Earth and now you're in zero gravity, let's say you're on the space station for an extended period of time, that's going to really mess with your vestibular system. It turns out astronauts experience the same balance problems we all face as we age. Astronauts also lose a lot, quite a lot of muscle mass, bone mass, and their nervous system has to re-adapt re to how they use sensory information. Now scientists are looking at how research on astronauts' balance can help the elderly. Erez Lieberman has a personal motivation. He's driven by the memory of his grandmother. After I went off to college, she became increasingly ill and then actually fractured her hip in a fall. She died uh, within a couple of months of the fall. Um, that's actually, uh, unfortunately, a, a common tragedy. Fellow researcher Katie Forth is equally motivated. She studies balance at NASA's Johnson Space Center. For some reason, when we're dealing with older adults, it's just assumed that poor balance is a part of aging. Because I strongly believe that that's not the case. Katie and her colleagues test astronauts and seniors on this device, the Neurocom unit. Roughly speaking, it's this phone booth that has all kinds of uh, pressure sensors at the bottom of it. And so the Neurocom unit is able to track where you're applying pressure over time. The most basic condition is where the subject is just standing still, and even though, even though they are standing still, there are very small movements that people make. We take standing for granted, but it's actually a highly complicated activity. Erez and his colleagues have discovered that people make constant, subtle adjustments while they're standing. They find a specific center of mass point, and they balance around that, and then they might get tired or they might lose it, and so then they find a new point for their center of mass and they balance around that. In the early studies that we've done, it seems like ballpark of 40 seconds is about how long a person spends in one region. Visual cues help us balance. To shake things up, the Neurocom unit moves with the subject. The researchers have another way of throwing people off. They make the earth move. In this case, the force plate under the volunteer's feet. As the subject's swaying, the surround is moving as well as the, the plate is rotating underneath his feet. So the, the major sensory input he can rely on to balance is his vestibular system. The Neurocom unit provides instant feedback on balance. 
the force plate is measuring pressure underneath the subject's feet and as they sway forwards and backwards, the combined center of that pressure is going to move around. Experts can use that information to develop exercises to improve somebody's balance. It's a great system, but not everyone has a neural commune around the house. So the researchers have developed a way of bringing it to the masses, a portable, miniaturized version of the neural commune unit called the iShoe. The idea with the iShoe is in some sense to create the cell phone version of the Neurocom phone booth. So basically, can we shrink it down so that it lives inside an insole that just lives inside a shoe? And so we get all of that information about how well you're balancing, but we don't have to have you stand inside a phone booth. We could just have you stand inside your pair of shoes. Data transmitted from the iShoe reveals that even though this woman appears to be standing still, her center of mass is shifting. Information from the iShoe could be downloaded onto a family doctor's computer or transmitted wirelessly to caregivers. In case it detects that you've actually fallen, which is the ultimate type of balance compromise, it can immediately send an emergency signal. The scientists have already won the $50,000 grand prize in a business competition. That brings them a step closer to marketing this device to seniors. With iShoe, we feel that we can cover community dwellers, uh, a middle range where very uh, small levels of uh, balance deterioration are starting to occur, and we can hopefully help people or allow people to intervene before it becomes a se severe state and a fall actually occurs. A space-age solution to a problem both spacewalkers and seniors face.